Hello everyone, my name is Paul Storm. I work for Micrographics. We are an Autodesk reseller in Cape Town, South Africa. This morning I'd like to have a quick look at piping systems and the materials that they use and what would be the correct way to create our own pipe system with its own material. There's quite a lot on offer these days. It didn't used to be like that in the old time. But let's have a look. So I've got my project browser open on the left hand side. Here are the pipes within the project and there are the piping systems within the project. Piping systems, we've got cold water domestic and hot water domestic, fire protection, dry, other pre-order and wet. We'll be looking at the fire protection wet, hydronic return, hydronic supply, other sanitary and vent. All right. and typical sort of pipes that we get within a building. If you do a hospital, there might be close to 100 of these different piping systems and various different types of pipes, anything from PVC and, and steel to some specialized uh, stainless steel pipes and so on. But anyway, this is a very simple project. And there's a fire protection wet. And let's compare that to domestic cold water, say for argument's sake. And then the pipe types, there's a standard pipe type. And we'll discuss that in detail uh, um, later. All right, so let's first draw something within the wet fire protection. There's our systems, there's our pipe. I'm going to just draw at about a meter above the ground. It's a nice thick pipe, 150 millimeters. It'll make it nice and visible for us to see. And we're gonna draw this pipe. It's a standard pipe. There's where we choose the, the pipe type. It's a standard. And then with the system type, we're going to use um, fire protection wet. There's fire protection wet. Let's draw a pipe and see what that looks like. Well, it looks like a normal pipe. Notice that we are within the hidden line. There's shaded. It looks gray. There's consistent colors, textures, realistic. All right, so it's a pretty <coughs> straightforward pipe. No, sorry, on the textures, there we can see, oh, it's copper. All right, so how do I know it's copper? A nice easy way to check that is you go to your annotate tab and then you can use your material tags and we come in on that and we see that it's copper. All right, so that's a copper pipe. Now, nowhere over here will you see that it's copper pipe except for this label and this makes it a bit tricky. All right, so I'd like to discuss in detail later, but for now, let's just have a look at how this pipe system is generating. There's our standard uh, pipe system. If we go to the pipe properties, this opens the type properties and there is the first item, which is the routing preferences. If we open the routing preferences, one of the first things that we see is this um, data grid. And in the data grid, it shows you the elbows and the T's and the junctions, everything, all the little families, the fittings that's used to generate this pipe are showed over here. Then we've also got the segments and sizes. So when we come to sizing a pipe, this is where we go, segments and sizes. And uh, here you can see that the segments and sizes for copper A is as follows. So it recognizes that this is a copper pipe, but nowhere over here do you see anything about a material. And that is the thing to recognize. All right. So it's very confusing when you start out. You would think, well, uh, what is the material? Okay, And there is the material up there. Copper A, copper B, copper C, copper D. All right. Copper A, copper C, copper B, copper D. Well, let's go and have a look. Is this is is saying that it's copper, and on the schedule it's saying it's copper A. Well, that's interesting. Let's have a look at the materials. Let's look at copper. What do we have in our in our uh, project? With there's only one copper material. All right. So you have to recognize that the material type, we can get at this a different way if we go to the Manage tab under the Mechanical Settings. Um, <clears throat> we should be able to get at the Mechanical Settings to the pipes. There's the segments and sizes for the pipes. We should be able to find, oh, okay, so there's copper A, B, C, D. They're all copper, but they were given a different name. So the name of the pipe segment does not exactly mimic what the material is. So somebody named this pipe based on the material, right? but you can't change it afterwards. You can't change it afterwards. It's only when you create that pipe system that you can create that material. Great. All right. So it's a bit tricky. If you want to change the material of a pipe type out, you have to duplicate the pipe type and switch out all the pipes in the project. Not uh, perfect, but it's a way to do it. Uh, well, what else have we got? All right. So here's the copper pipe. 
it's obviously within a system. In this case, the system is the fire protection wet. What we want to have is a red, um, is a red steel pipe, and that's what we're working towards. But for the moment, let's see if we can jipo this somehow. Right. So there is our fire protection wet system, and in the fire pro protection wet system, we can also go to its type properties. One of the things that it's got here is the graphics overrides, and we can choose. Well, I'm going to go with a red. All right. It's a line, so we don't expect it to to override the 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 uh, the hatch pattern. But at least when we draw it like this, we can see it as red. So that is the that is the graphics overrides within uh, a sort of plan. All right. And uh, let's just take that out, uh, clear overrides. Now it's back to what it was. We can just see it as two black lines. On the fire protection wet, let's go to type properties again. Now let's have a look at the material. I say, oh, that's interesting. I've got a material. Okay, let me go and switch out the material. The steel paint finished red, like that. Okay. And now what happens is if we go to shaded, has this changed out? Type properties. Let's just make sure about that material. I think what it's doing is it's not using the it's not using the uh, the graphics asset to there we go use the render appearance. Let's switch that out to something nice and red. Then we'll see that not as grey but as red. There's the appearance. Okay. So we've changed the material. Now it will look nice and red. There we can see what it looks like. It's red. If we do a combination of those two things then we can also uh, uh, have the lines as red because we can do the the graphics overrides as red over there. All right? So if we did want to get those black lines out of there like that, then it will just be a red pipe, something like that. It kind of gets there. All right? So that's all interesting, but have a look at what happened to the tag. The tag is still telling me, hey, um, I'm sorry to tell you, but this is still copper. All right? That's still copper. And on a schedule, if we had to schedule the pipes, it still says that uh, pipe standard is copper material. So at best what you're doing with a pipe system is you are lying about its appearance. Now that's all good for visual representation, but once you get to scheduling and ordering pipes and um, uh, calculating quantities and the costs, that won't do. So we need to find our own material, define our own pipe system, and then we'll have what we want. All right, so let me take this material out. Uh, how do we do this again? By to take material out. I think what we normally, what I normally do is I just go to a different pipe system. It's by category in brackets, I think. Yep, we can type it in or we can just copy and paste. Type properties, material. Come on, paste. No. Right. By category. So we go. And that takes the material off. All right, so let's do the correct thing. Let's create our own pipe type. We'll start with a chilled water pipe. All right. And we'll say, well, we want something that's similar. So let's create a new pipe type. Duplicate. Chilled water, rename, fire suppression, steel red, maybe 40, something like that. All right, so the, what this means is that if we duplicate the pipe type and we go to the type properties, then we'll see that the routing preferences are already using these families, if we want them different, then we'll have to switch them out. And now we need a new pipe segment. Right, so what we're going with over here is the new pipe segment, material and or schedule type. The material that we are going to use is this red material. The schedule or type, it's going to say if, uh, if um, Fire suppression for now. It should be schedule 40, I suppose. 
and duplicate the size catalog from and then we want the steel carbon schedule 40 there we go all right so there we can see that we've got the steel the type over there the size catalog and we can say whether or not these must be used in sizes okay we can use them in size list or use in sizing we say okay that should now set the segments to just make sure we want the segment set to fire suppression okay right so here we can see that the pipe segment also has copper as the first choice let's delete that because we, we copied that from the previous one now it will definitely use that uh, new material that we've used the new segment we say okay and okay we must just remember not to have that second uh, pipe type there let's go and create the the new pipe these are systems these are pipe we're going to choose the pipe type to be the fire uh, suppression type uh, it's going to be 150 millimeters at 100 millimeters and let's draw that and see what that looks like all right and there you can see immediately comes through with the correct material and in addition to that if we now go and uh, slap on a tag a material tag there we can see that it is actually the correct material tag and on our schedule we will see that as well there's the pipe schedule and there we can see that it's the correct material and once we get the quantities out of the schedule then we'll at least know that we're ordering the correct type of material and cal uh, calculate costs and so on so my recommendation to you um, create your own pipe type use your own pipe material it's a bit more laborious but it's more powerful uh, failing that if you just want to have an override quickly visual override then go with the piping system until next time enjoy Revit